Hey guys, welcome to the Tiger Tech. This is going to be part 2 of my Google Nexus 1 interface tour. If you want to check part 1, make sure you click on the description or click on the annotation below. So, one another unique part about the Nexus 1 is the notification taskbar over here. So, here we could just drag and this will give you notification of, let's say, if you have received a text message or if you're downloading something from the app market or even from directly from the browsers so this phone and the Android system does allow you to download directly from the browser for example right now it's showing me the Google talk sign so that means I'm in a conversation so if I were to click on the conversation it would go um, take me directly to Google talk and this can be altered let's say if you have a text message and if you click on text message you can just drag from anywhere from the phone any home screen and you can quickly look at the notifications so it makes it simple to stay in track of things you don't have to be disturbed you don't have a pop-up notification like for example the iPhone another way that Google Nexus one notifies you is the track bulb it lights up when you have a message just as an example right there so once you have a message or an email or anything like that it lights up so that's another cool way of notifying you that there's something happening in order to access all your apps on the phone all you do is click on the app launcher button and there you go and it has this cool 3d effect and let's say if you want to get back to your home screen you can either click on the home screen or click on this button the launcher button and let's say if you want to place an app onto your home screen all you need to do is press and hold and just place it anywhere you like it's very easy since the Android OS is so customizable I'll show you an app that I talked about in part one of this video it's called launcher pro and it's available in the app market there's a lot of different launchers this one is my particular favorite one I think it's the best one out there right now so we'll just make that as default and select that so with this one you can have up to seven different home screen you can choose from like three to four five six whichever up to seven and here I have seven different home screen so instead of the five ones that you get with the stock Android and I have my stocks here there's a different widgets and let's say if I want to quickly go into the home screen this brings a feature that's available in Sense, the newest Sense, called Leap so you pinch and you get an expose type of view from let's say the Mac onto the phone and you can click and quickly pinch out and go to a different home screen and this works fluently and you can also use the launcher button to go to the particular home screen too so it brings that Leap feature back with the launcher button as well and one other unique part about this app is that instead of just having the app launcher in the center you also get different for dial pad, contacts, text message and browser and you can also change this if you like you can customize it to your liking now that we're talking about browser let's take a look at the stock browser that comes preloaded with the Android you can also get other browsers from the Android marketplace and unlike most mobile browsers, you can actually set up a home page just like you would do on a PC or a Mac. I have Google set up here. If we click the options button, you can add new windows, which will give you a new window. Or you can go to your bookmarks. Bookmarks can be laid in tiles, like thumbnails here. I have thumbnail previews or a list. I prefer the thumbnails. You can also check your most viewed websites and your history if we go back if we go to windows this gives you a preview of all the windows that are open so you could just quickly click on one and there it is I have my YouTube homepage open here and let's say if you want to zoom in you can just pinch to zoom in or pinch out or you could double tap to zoom in as well and you can also zoom in and zoom out by using the on-screen buttons and if you want to quickly access your history just hold on the back button and it will give you a list of history 
And if we go to the bookmarks, let's say if you want to visit Engadget, just click on it. And voila. And it's pretty fast. It's actually one of the fastest browser, mobile browser. So that's just a quick look at the mobile browser that comes preloaded with Android. One more thing worth noticing is the function that allows you to set context onto your home page. For example, on one of my home pages, I have all my favorite contacts. This way, let's say if I were to click on one of them, it gives you the access of calling them or going to their contacts, text messaging, and if you have their email, it would allow you to email or if you have the address, it's just with one click you can go directly to the address. So that's a neat feature on the Android platform. The Android OS allows you to multitask and it does this seamlessly with the 1 GHz processor of the Nexus 1. For example, I have so many apps that are running in the background as we speak. Before I let you go, let me give you guys a quick look at the keyboard on the Nexus 1 and the email. So I'm in Gmail right now. You can also run Exchange as well. So let's just go ahead and write this is a test. So it does predict and it also gives you little suggestions at the top row here, which is pretty neat. So let's just a quick look at the keyboard and the email functionality on the Nexus One. Thank you for watching guys. I know I might have missed some of the features of the Nexus One. I know it will take me a long time if I were to go through one by one. But this has just been a quick overview of the Google Nexus One. And if you want more details about the phone, please check out my channel. I have great videos and make sure I know you guys might have watched the part one. But if you haven't, go check out the part one of this video. And I will also be doing a top 10 application video in the coming days. So thank you for watching Tiger Tech and make sure you subscribe, rate and comment. Peace.